Hello everyone, I'm super excited to start the course with you, but as you know, before we do, we have to look at our roadmap, what the course is going to be about, what we're going to learn, so that we know exactly our path to success. So let's see what this course will look like for you. We are obviously going to start with Node.js fundamentals. These are the foundations that you need to understand what Node is. What is a runtime? What is asynchronous programming? Node versus PHP versus Python. We're going to talk about the internal architecture of Node. Talk about things like threads, processes, event loops, event emitters, observer design patterns. A ton of stuff that you need to know in order to truly understand what Node is, how it works. We're going to talk about things like module systems, package management, and all the building blocks necessary for you to succeed in the following parts of the course. From there, we're gonna dive into our first project and we're gonna use something called file IO, input and output, using Node to discover real life planets around different solar systems that may contain life. This is where we're gonna learn about streaming large data files, working with CSV files, and actually creating a meaningful project using real life data. It's gonna be a ton of fun and it's gonna be our first project to really introduce us to the power of Node. We then dive into the main applications of where we see Node.js, that is web servers. We're gonna start from the very basics, talking about APIs, requests and response, but also about important topics like same origin policy and cores. From there, we dive into a very, very popular framework for Node.js, Express.js. If you learn Node, you have to learn Express.js. But we're gonna talk to you about Express, about Next.js, about Koa, and different options of frameworks and libraries. We're gonna talk about the MVC pattern, about middleware, about building RESTful APIs, templating engine, and pretty much all the basics you need to create a professional web server. Now, up until now, we learn a lot about the basics, but this is where the course gets really interesting. We're gonna dive straight in to our main master project. And this project is gonna be very cool. We're gonna use actual NASA data and combine it with the SpaceX API to build a space launch system. And we're gonna use this project as the building block of creating a more and more professional backend application using Node.js. So everything we learn after this can be applied to this project. And we're gonna architect this project in a professional way. And moving forward, you're gonna learn how to architect professional backend applications. We're going to really focus on advanced topics and topics that are really important because backend applications are really important. They have to be performant, they have to be secure, and they have to be scalable. And that's why right after we build our master project, we're gonna get into performance and scale. We're gonna learn about clustering, load balancing, PM2, managing our live clusters, zero downtime restarts, we're gonna talk about things like Node worker threads, some really important, exciting topics when it comes to Node and topics that a lot of other courses shy away from. We're gonna talk about authentication, a super important part of being a Node.js developer. We're going to talk about databases, NoSQL versus SQL. What is it? How does it work? How do you connect a Node app to a database using things like MongoDB? We're obviously going to learn how to write proper RESTful APIs. We then dive into deploying and continuous integration and continuous deployment. What are they? How can we do this? How can we automate tests? How do we protect our secrets when deploying, such as API keys? From there, we talk about production and the cloud using things like Docker and AWS, talking about virtual machines, serverless versus container, how to write Docker files, working with SSH and using things like PM2 and Mongo Atlas in production. And I think you're wondering, hmm, Andre, I feel like we're missing something, something really important here. In this modern age, we can talk about backend development without talking about GraphQL. We're gonna talk about GraphQL versus REST and how to build a GraphQL API so that we can compare the two. Now, this is a lot to cover already but we also have a special section towards the end of the course where we talk about sockets, specifically web sockets. In here, we're gonna build a really fun project. We're gonna build a full stack multiplayer pong game, and we're gonna use sockets to create namespaces and rooms so that we can have hundreds of players around the world playing our pong game. 
it's going to be super, super fun and an impressive project. As you can see, this course covers a lot. And we really try to teach you proper real techniques other than just superficial beginner topics. Even if you're a beginner, we will cover the beginner topics, but we won't shy away from those advanced ones. Now, as if this wasn't enough, we also have some bonus sections on things like Dino and TypeScript in a Node.js project. And I promise you that we're gonna make it fun along the way. And by the end of it all, all these things that you see right here, it's all going to fit together and make sense to make you a truly strong Node.js developer. We're gonna take you from zero to mastery. That's our goal. I hope you're excited. I definitely am as well. So let's get started. Let's learn Node.js.